All right, well, welcome out to the field on a windy day. Uh, the reason that I'm at the field right now is because I had to return the trailer to the field. Um, I took the weekend to do some gardening at the house and that required hauling a whole bunch of mulch bags. And what better way to say to the wife, yes, of course this trailer and investment is flexible than to put down a tarp on the inside and haul a bunch of mulch around. So that's what I did. Uh, <laughs> I also took some time to complete several of the things that we need to do on the trailer. So let's go over it. So clearly I'm trying to um, <laughs> I'm trying to film inside the trailer because it's really windy. Uh, not a good flying day. Uh, so clearly I've put down some carpet on the shelves. And these, uh, these carpets were picked up from a <laughs> very basic uh, uh, thrift store. Uh, it's called Ollie's. Don't know if everybody has them. Uh, five, but five foot by seven foot, uh, carpet for $19. I got three of them, cut them up and, uh, one did those two shelves, small section of another one did that. And, uh, yeah, I've already got mud on here. Cool. So yeah, I've got carpet everywhere. And the reason is I've got these Velcro strips that are useful for holding down the airplanes. Now, the reason you want to have some way to hold down the airplanes is obviously because during transit, they're going to shift around and do stuff. Um, it's a good idea to, once you get on the road, um, you know, maybe after half an hour, 45 minutes, just find a spot, pull over, do a quick check, open up the trailer, make sure everything is secure. Um, it's just a general good idea and good practice. Make sure you did everything right. Make sure you didn't forget anything. Um, and know what repairs you might have to do once you get to your event. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, of, of other event things, uh, let me close up the tailgate and try to shut this door and show you what else I got going on. All right, so the doors are mostly closed up. Uh, I, obviously, I can't close all the doors from the inside. Uh, it's just the way these enclosed trailers are designed to be, uh, and that's fine. <laughs> um, you can tell that I've got my light bars going and uh, let me flip the camera around and show you what else I got. All right, so notice anything different? Anything? <laughs> yeah, I've got some lights under here and uh, also down below under here. All right. So the whole reason that we have these light strips is two things. Uh, number one is if we have to ever load or unload anything at night, I want to be able to see what we're doing, what we're getting at. Uh, you never know if there's something sharp that might stick you or anything like that. So these are all wired into a switch panel. So the top switch is obviously the top lights. The switch on the left, lower left, is the, um, so the uh, top light. So, yeah that turns off those lights. So that can also double as like a workbench light. So up, so I can theoretically fold down this section and then use this as like a workbench and have plenty of light to work on. All right, and then obviously the other switch controls the lower lights that go down below. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much straightforward stuff. I'm using a staple gun to staple pieces of carpet that I cut the same size as the wood. Uh, nothing too fancy there. Uh, obviously, if the staples start coming up, I've got more staples I can put in. Um, if I want a more permanent solution, I can use like some sort of contact cement or even more of the very high bond um, uh, double-sided foam tape if I want to. Um, the, the point is that it's flexible and I can grow and come with new ideas and nothing's like 
permanent enough that I have to destroy it to modify it or change it if I don't like it. That's, that's the whole point of doing all of this. Thinking forward, thinking, okay, let, let's work with this. So the last thing that I've done in addition to all this wiring, uh, which, you know, again, wiring is wiring. Is, it's, it's all, you know, positive, negative DC stuff. Um, I've got one, still got one circuit coming off of the fuse box that says light bar LED. Oh, what's that? What's that? All right, so uh, yeah, the last little thing that I put in here is, uh, yeah, I, I got $25 speakers off of Facebook Marketplace. Got a little Bluetooth amplifier that's maximum 100 watts and uh, put in some music. And it's pretty nice. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I have a whole bunch of LPs from my grandfather that I have digitized. I, the nice thing about these LPs is at this point, a lot of them, the music is over 70 years old, so they're DRM free. <laughs> I can put them on my YouTube videos. Um, so I can play this pretty loud and it sounds great even with the trailer open. And uh, you know, it's, it's really nice. It plays pop music as well, obviously. Anything I want, um, I'm using uh, a Kindle Fire. <laughs> I'm using a Kindle Fire that we just had laying around the house. It connects through Bluetooth and it works great. Now, one of the cool things about the uh, radio inside the trailer is that I hooked it up to my uh, to a battery <laughs> on the bench and put it through my watt meter and my watt meter couldn't even register how much current it was pulling. Uh, so the power supply that comes with it, it's rated at five amps. So I put a 10 amp fuse in the case of a short circuit or something. It, dry, it, it uses next to no juice. So I'm, I'm not at all worried about, uh, you know, having this on in the field, uh, unless it's like a super cloudy day. And even then, I'm not too terribly worried about it. At this point, pretty much everything is done. Um, I, I'm, I'm totally set for going to events at this point. I can strap down airplanes. I can be flexible with things. I can charge things. I can relax. I can workshop offsite. Um, you know, the soldering I did in here was soldering directly off the inverter. And let me tell you, soldering and looking over and seeing that I'm not even remotely drawing from the battery just from soldering and playing music at the same time, that's pretty nice. Just doing it straight off the sun. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I can't say enough good things about the solar setup. I think it's more than enough uh, for what I'm gonna be doing. And I hope to be able to have more than enough to share with other people as well. So come by, charge a pack, enjoy a tune, uh, grab a drink, maybe some shade if I see you at one of these events. Now, events. I am going to a couple of events <laughs> that I've got scheduled here. One, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about yet, um, but uh, yeah, that one's gonna be fun. And the, the next event I will be going to is the Warbirds over Gettysburg event that I've been to before. <clears throat> I'm going to actually stay the night this time and enjoy that. And from there, I am going to go to Flight Fest. Um, Flight Fest has been a staple. They've announced that they're going to have it. I've been vaccinated and I will be going and be doing all of the fun things that I want to be doing and meeting new people and being inspired. Uh, I've, I've missed the interaction with everyone. Um, so with all that being said, all these events coming up, I look forward to seeing you. And again, I have, uh, shirts available at the link in the description below. And I hope that you find value in the things that I do here enough to support me in that way. And I hope to see some more blue shirts as I go to these events. 
and be able to uh, be inspired by your flying works of art.